Hey friends, it's Larry. Today's project, ball joint, 99 Taurus. I just replaced this about a year, year and a half ago. It should not be shot, but it is. It's, uh... Okay, first thing we're going to do is remove the spindle nut. It's a 30 millimeter. You should do this with it on the ground if you don't have an impact, but we're going to have a hard time getting it off if you don't have an impact. Let's run this off. Next we'll take the tire off. Spindle nuts off already. So what I'm going to do next is take the nut off the take the castle nut off the ball joint after I remove the cotter pin. Drop that down. Then I'm going to break this free, and then uh, I'm going to pull this hub assembly out with my puller walk it out this way. Oh, my camera keeps dying. Sorry about that. Okay, I took the sway bar link out, which goes from here up to the back of the strut. That is laying right there. I've got a new one. And I've also removed the tie rod end. Same process. Take the castle nut off. Cotter pin the castle nut. Drive your pickle fork in between there. Pops right off. I'm going to leave that hang there. My goal here is to get the spindle assembly up on the bench so that I can press the ball joint out. Uh, just not enough room to do it here on the car. Uh, it's really kind of a joke, so you'll see what I'm saying. What we're going to do is uh, rather than take the screw out of the ABS sensor, because uh, these things always get set up in here, I'm just going to uh, unplug it at the connector and take the whole thing out as an assembly, and uh, that'll come along with the spindle. Uh, I just need to loosen this uh, pinch bolt off the end of the strut assembly. Uh, it's in the car, so it's not going to go anywhere as far as that goes. Um, I'm going to mark it. I'm going to put a mark here and a mark here. Make sure it's uh, lined up uh, when I put it back together. And then from there, I just put my puller on here, push, push on here, and pull on the hub assembly and it'll pull this assembly out towards me and uh, I can carry that over to the bench. So let's keep going on that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got my puller on there. Now I'm going to remove the spindle. As I tighten this down, it'll pull on the bearing assembly, pull this whole thing out this way. Wash 
assembly. <clears throat> See, there's the ball joint boss. There's the head ball joint. Yeah, it's pretty wiggly. And there's your drive line assembly. Here's the wire from the ABS, which goes up through here, around in here. I have to take this retainer off. And the plug actually comes out over here. And I just unplugged it, fished it back through, and pulled it out. The only other thing I'd like to do is loosen this pinch bolt. And this whole assembly right here will drop off and we'll take it over there to the bench. That's next. And success. Got the spindle off of the strut assembly and that's all that's left hanging there is nothing and we've got it over here on the bench right where I wanted it and there you can see the ball joint assembly ready to be pressed out I've got the press uh, rented it from AutoZone it's like a hundred bucks got the new ball joint and the sway bar link so now I'm going to put it in the vise up the press and show you how to press it out. Now I got a little ahead of myself but this is the arrangement I used to press the ball joint out. I actually had to go through the strut hole and use an adapter and a collar that's wider than the base of the ball joint and then you see the stem of the ball joint sticks through the end of the C-clamp again with a uh, collar that will push on the shoulder of the ball joint and I just take my uh, uh, air ratchet and tightens down and uh, it walks it right out and pushes it right out this way so let me uh, loosen this up and show you what I mean collar isn't exactly the right size, it should have been a little smaller, but the idea is to leave room inside this cup for the ball joint to fit inside there without this lip interfering with the uh, lip of the ball joint. Take this out, take this off, and again this collar, and we're left with the ball joint pressed out wiggle it out the rest of the way and there it is and again this one uh, I'm gonna say it's a year and a half old lifetime warranty from AutoZone and uh, I cashed in today because it is not good so, you're left with the bore and reassembly is uh, the opposite obviously uh, the new ball joint up in there turn the press around and uh, press it back down in there and put the C clip on and then put it all back together so this can go in there and uh, we'll continue on with reassembly with the new one.